हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू अ न्यू टूल दैट आई एडिड ऑन माय वेबसाइट फ्री मीडिया टूल्स डॉट कॉम सो बेसिकली दिस टूल कन्वर्ट्स द सैस विच स्टैंड फॉर यू कैन सी सैस इज ए एक्सटेंशन ऑफ सी एस एस सिंथेटिकली ऑसम स्टाइल शीट्स सो इट्स कन्वर्ट सैस इन टू सी एस एस नॉर्मल सी एस एस डेट वी यूज इन साइड अवर वेब पेजेस सो इट्स अ ग्रेट यूटिलिटी टूल दैट यू कैन यूज इन साइड वेन एवर यू आर प्रोग्रामिंग सो यू कैन जस्ट गो टू दिस टूल बाई गोइंग टू द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन आई हैव गिवन द लिंक which is free media tool slash sas to css so here you will upload your sas file where you have written your uh, sas code the extension is sc double s so you can see this is my file here style dot sas file if i upload this file this is just 2 kilobytes file here and simply you need to click the download css file button it will first of all upload this file and then it will automatically download it as an attachment you will see your css file is ready here now let me just show you the sas code here this is my sas code you can see style.css various variables are there you can see we i'm storing these color variables so this is your sas code now i will show you it has converted to css let me just show you the css code here i will simply uh, edit with notepad++ you will see it has converted the sas into plain css you can see it has replaced all the variables with the values that it has provided you can see So it's a great utility tool. Uh, while programming, you need to convert your SAS into CSS. There are various online converters out there, but I will highly recommend that you use this tool. It's a it it has a very uh, nice user interface, very simple. You just need to upload your SAS file and then click the download CSS button. So now I will show you how I build this tool from scratch inside Node.js and Express because I am running this website freemediatools.com on a VPS and I am using uh, hosting by Hostinger and I am hosted this on Ubuntu operating system. So uh, for building this application, I have used a dependency of Node. So here you can just go to node uh, npmjs.com. so here you can just search for any sort of package so i've used this package which is node dash sas so if you just search for this package the very first result which comes in you need to click this result so you need to globally install this library and for the source code you can just go to the video description i have written a complete blog post uh, explaining step by step on how to build this application from scratch so you can go to the video description for the source code as well so this is my blog post only two files are necessary so this is a node js project so all the source code is there inside the video description so this is a dependency i am using here you can see it's a very popular dependency over 4 million down weekly downloads are there so let me just show you first of all you need to go to command prompt and you need to be having node installed on your computer so here we need to globally install this dependency npm i dash g for global and then node dash s a double s so this will work for windows so you can see if i enter this this dependency is already installed my, on my computer so i will not once again install it so there is a simple command inside this so wherever you have stored your sas file <coughs> let's suppose this is my style dot sas file i need to convert to css so i will open this inside my command prompt and there is a simple command here which is node dash sas so it's a command line utility tool you can see if i write this this will work here you can see so here you need to provide your sas file as an input node dash sas and then the input file name which is style dot sc double s and then followed by the output file name so here we will provide the output file name as output file dot css so if i run this application you will see rendering complete saving dot css file so it has created this file output file dot css so if i just uh, see here you can see it has created this file output file dot css and now it has all the code which is necessary of plain css so we are using this simple command inside our node js so now to execute this dynamically we are using a built in module of node js which is process child process and we are using the execute method to execute shell commands inside our node js project so this was the complete overview or how to convert sas into plain css you can just go to the video description and go to the freemediatools.com and 
convert your SAS to CSS. Apart from that, there are various other tools as well. 140 tools are there, so you can also check out these tools as well. And also join this Facebook group where I also uh, post information as well. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will be uh, seeing you in the next video.